In this video, I will show you how to create the glitch effect like what you are seeing on screen right now. If you are new to my channel, my name is James and I create video and tutorials to help you to leverage tech so that you can create greater impact in your life. Now the first thing that you need to do is actually to create a composite shot. So go to your media tab and go to create a composite shot. Okay, so this is composite shot number three. Now I'm just going to leave all this as the default but uh, I can actually shorten this to say just 10 seconds just to make things a little bit uh, easier and shorter. So the first thing is under your composite shot, create, and create a new layer and we're going to create a text. Okay, so you can create whatever text that you want. So uh, since I'm such a creative person, let's stick with text. So let me just put it in the center. Now next, you, what you need to do is actually to uh, duplicate this uh, layer. Uh, two more times. I'm going to press Ctrl D. Okay, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly rename this uh, text layers for easy reference. Okay. Now I actually renamed the layers red, green, and blue, and you will know shortly why I do that. Okay, so now with the red layer selected, go to effects and look for level histogram and put the histogram onto all three layers. I'm going to resize this so that we can see things a little bit better. So we will work with the first uh, layer first. I'm going to switch off the green and the blue uh, layer for time being. So click on the red layer, go to your level histogram. And the reason why I have named the layer red is I'm going to change this to uh, removing all the green and blue so with the channel selected as green I'm going to change the output to zero okay repeat that to blue I'm going to change this to zero again okay and what you end up with is a red text okay so basically what we are doing is RGB split I'm going to lock the first layer and I'm going to turn on the green layer I'm going to repeat this for the green and blue layer as well. And this is what you will end up with. You have the layer red. Let me turn this on red. The layer that's green and the layer that is blue. So basically what I've done on the red layer, I remove green and blue. On the green layer, I've removed red and blue. And on the blue layer, I have actually removed the red and the green using level histogram. Now, next thing what you need to do is actually to turn us all on. Uh, select this all together using your mouse. And then right click and go to blend mode and get to add. So basically, when you have red, green, blue added together, what you have ended up is actually white text. Okay, so now that you have done that, the next thing that we need to do is to go to effects again and we will use the shake effect. Now you can actually change this by going to each individual layer and just doing the transformation using say transforming the position and transforming the scale. Uh, however, by using the shake uh, effect, you have more options. Okay, so I'm going to put the shake into the red layer. Then I'm going to repeat the same for the green and blue. So with that done, the next thing that we need to do is actually to just go and let me just close this up. <clears throat> so with that done, the next step is actually to open up the red layer. We are going to use the shake effect and we can actually adjust some of these things. For example, the amount of shake, the speed, the seed, smoothness and scale. So we are going to use keyframes and I'm going to move this half a second down change the amount using keyframes let me reduce the amount to say 10 okay and further down and i'm going to change the seat as well so let's just go and do this and uh, you can actually just put some random figures it's all right uh, depends on whether you want your shake to move a lot or move less okay so that's for the red layer and because it is RGB or RGB split, you know, uh, slight movements will have that uh, kind of effects that you are seeing right now. Okay, 
So I'm going to do the same for the blue and green layer. So go to the green layer, check on transform, go to the shake. something like that now if you go to individual controls uh, you can actually control for example whether you want to have x uh, shake more or just in the uh, y direction so i'm going to reduce the uh, y direction to say 0 0.25 now beside the shake there's also another in, uh, effect that you can add which is actually the jitter effect and you don't really need to add it on all layers you can actually just Add it on some of the layers for example let's add it onto the top layer here so let's get back to the editor so if you want you can actually just put the put this text over any building for example you can put this over this building here whoops let's put this up put the building here and you can actually adjust the position So there you have it, creating text glitch effect using HitFlame Express by just using the uh, split RGB as well as the shake as well as the jitter effect. Now if you enjoyed this video, remember to check out my other videos as well uh, where I use other software on besides HitFlame Express. You can also compare this with Filmora 9 to see which is actually better or easier software to create effects like this.